Boy, I tell you, I want to go back to the 90s. I want to go back to the 90s so fucking bad. I remember when my mom used to tell me, back in my day, and I'd be like, when dinosaurs roamed the earth, but now I fucking get it. I fucking get it. The 90s were fucking glorious, okay? You know, we had all the similar technology, but it wasn't in the palm of our hands. Like, phones were attached to walls and not our fucking face. Or, like, the 90s were a time when, like, being a racist, bigot, or misogynist was shunned. And however short-lived that era was, it sure was fucking nice. You know, we had political correctness, but it was excluded from comedy. Like, that was no holds bars. And it wasn't some libtard version of cancel culture designed to protect their childlike fucking delusions. TV was epic as fuck, okay? It was like all family sitcoms that like really were designed towards like the nuclear family and the only reality TV we had was the real world, which was epic as fuck, by the way. Uh, kids were still able to play outside. You know, they'd, they'd ride their bikes and scrape their knees or start fires in the fucking woods, you know, like do drugs in somebody's fucking basement where their mom was buying them alcohol to be the cool mom. You know, typical shit, right? I think one of my favorite parts of the 90s was like the commercials that were specific to the area you lived in and they consisted of jingles that would live in your head, rent fucking free. Peanut and gluten allergies were only for fucking pussies and they didn't stop homemade cupcakes from circulating the classroom on somebody's birthday. Like, sorry, little Tim Tim, you won't have to sit here and watch me eat this fucking cupcake. I don't know what to tell you. R&B was legit top tier and the fact that men used to cry in the rain with their shirt open and their abs on full display over the woman that's currently leaving. We don't have that anymore, okay? Now everybody's debut album is a three and a half minute dissertation of their disgusting kinks. I shouldn't know that you like getting your mouth spit in while you're freaking like what the fuck? Natural bodies were still popping and fake eyelashes with glued baby hairs were not a trend, thank fucking God. If you told somebody you were a bad bitch back then, they would think that you were a feral dog in heat, okay? Food was actually food. Like it had nutritional properties and all this GMO, hormone, antibiotic shit did not fucking exist. Like even fast food wasn't as processed as it is currently. The only thing you really had to avoid was McDonald's uh, questionable ass mystery meat chicken nuggets. But outside of that, it, it was fair game. Clubs were actually dance clubs. Like you would go into a club and you would spend the entire night drinking, dancing, and socializing, not making video montages of your friends twerking or your boyfriend sucking who could dick all night. Bullying was an actual rite of passage and nine times out of 10, it created a success story and not a mass shooter. Uh, the, the one out of 10 times usually created a serial killer depending upon like state religion and, and your mother. Uh, but either way, that created the serial killer documentaries that you love today, so you're fucking welcome. And I think the one thing that I absolutely have to mention I loved about the 90s or growing up in the 90s was that you could walk outside looking or acting like a bad day, which all human beings have, by the way, and you didn't run the risk of going viral for it. Like when another human being saw somebody in trouble or a dangerous situation, they didn't bust out their phone so they could become the next viral sensation. No, they, they, they actually stepped in to help and we just don't have that anymore like we literally don't you guys will see somebody having a bad day losing their shit freaking the fuck out going through a very traumatic situation and rather than like being a normal fucking human being you use it as an opportunity to record them without their consent post them without their consent and further their fucking humiliation i fucking hate that i fucking hate that about this generation cancel culture and viral culture have just warped you guys into the most clout thirsty, inhumane, unempathetic individuals I have ever fucking experienced. And it makes me sick. All of you think you're so fucking above rapport. Like, like you've never had a bad day. Like you ain't never done something stupid. Imagine half the shit you did when you were a kid ending up on the internet today. Jesus fucking Christ with y'all.